sea of green surged into Revolution Square. The place named after the 1979 Islamic Revolution. The very event many of the protesters now want to see overturned. Give us our votes, they chanted. Go, go, dictator, they screamed. The crisis in this country is not just about the election. Behind the anger at the alleged vote theft is something even deeper, frustration at living in a theocracy. In stark contrast to Sunday's pro Ahmadinejad rally, Monday's event was packed with women. That they turned up at all is testament to the depth of feeling. Earlier in the day, the Interior Ministry had declared the rally illegal and later authorized the use of live ammunition to suppress rioting if it occurred. In the event, the numbers were too great. Force would have sparked an uprising. An early show of force failed to cow those descending on the square, including the opposition leader himself, Mir Hussein Mosavi. He appeared to a roar of approval and to a moment which comes rarely. Until today, the biggest protest had been a decade ago. This is the most powerful show of popular dissent since the revolution itself. Earlier, the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, had agreed that the Guardian Council will investigate the election. But he picks the council, and the opposition will not be confident of the decision being overturned. At Tehran University, students held a sit-in. On Sunday night, they'd been attacked by a civilian militia. Coup d'etat dictator, they chanted. That was a cry taken up in Revolution Square. Turning out these numbers does not mean the election will be rerun, but the Ayatollahs know, out there in the streets, they're being given a run for their money. Tim Marshall, Sky News, Tehran.